Welcome to the Paperless Productivity Podcast, where we give you the tips, tricks, and know-how to solve your biggest workflow challenges and bring greater productivity into your workplace every day. Many of us remember the old Hair Club for Men commercials, where the CEO boldly looks into the camera and says, I'm not only the president, I'm also a client. That kind of bold claim instilled consumer confidence in the product they sold. By saying that the, the people who ran the company believed so much in what they were selling that they were willing to use it themselves, signaled to customers that they weren't just trying to make some money. It was the real deal. At ImageSoft, we've had that same experience. Not with hair replacement products, but with Highland's human resources software. ImageSoft has long been a reseller for Highland's OnBase technology solutions, and after implementing OnBase to manage our fast-growing company, we've been able to see firsthand just how beneficial these solutions are for our customers. Here to tell us that story and the company-wide benefits ImageSoft has reaped in the process are Leanne Eastman, ImageSoft's Human Resources Manager, and Nathan Armley, OnBase Administrator here at ImageSoft. Welcome to the podcast, Leanne and Nathan. Thank you. Good to be here. So before we start, tell me a little bit about yourselves and your roles at ImageSoft. So this year I'll be celebrating my 10th year with ImageSoft as our HR manager. Congratulations. So, thank you. Excited. So over the years I've seen the company grow from around 40 employees to present day we're at 130. Wow. I have kind of like a great perspective and experience in leveraging OnBase because we've grown over those 10 years and from where OnBase was before to where it is now. So yeah, I have a great perspective. Nice. Uh, I've been here for seven years, as of today, actually. I, oh, I just nice. Remembered, yeah, Congratulations. Today. Happy anniversary. That's great. Um, so I've kind of been all over the place, had quite a few roles. I started in professional services, so implementing these solutions for our customers. Uh, and then I made the transition to essentially doing the same thing, but doing it for the internal solutions at ImageSoft. Great. So has ImageSoft been using OnBase as its HR solution since day one? Um, yes, definitely. From the first day 10 years ago, I've been using OnBase. Um, from starting out and establishing like an employee file management document system mm -hmm. um, to over time leveraging the OnBase functionality and applying it to um, address our HR challenges. Some of those challenges, of course, were kind of addressing the quantity of paper that we used every day. Mm. Um, I know we're a paperless company, but we did use paper. Right. So we had to change our mindset to paper is not my friend and <laughs> kind of let that guide, guide us in letting go of how we previously completed our work and whether that was the simplest task to the most complex. There was no differentiation. We looked at everything from top to bottom. Nothing really was off the table. So, and we had to kind of also address the challenge of synchronizing our efficiency and our effectiveness on a day-to-day -day basis as we were growing at a tremendous pace. Um, and once we created those processes, we needed a way to have visibility in every step. And then once the process was completed, the ability to create some sort of metrics or to analyze and or present data to our executives um, as they made operational decisions. So I guess it has to start somewhere, but over time we've just incrementally added functionality with OnBase to provide us with the tools to accomplish our HR work in um, kind of like a timely, efficient, and professional way. And honestly, we really haven't looked back at all. Nice. I know, Nathan, you were telling a story about what it, what it was like the you said about paper you know still being central even though you're a paperless company it happens you know and it's it's a transition that every company has to make at some point uh you know you don't start off necessarily digital especially if you've been in business for a little while so Nathan you mentioned something uh what, what your onboarding process was like with a paper document yeah it's a it's a lot different now than it was you know seven years ago and even even with the stuff Leanne just mentioned we may have used it 10 years ago, but it was, I'm gonna scan my document on a scanner and then it's gonna go into a digital file cabinet. And that was basically it. Now yeah. it's, we can click a button and you know start onboarding and it informs 10 different people in five different departments that they've got to do things. So uh, it's grown a lot. I, you know, I don't think we can emphasize that enough, how much it's grown in the last 10 years. But it was still a great onboarding process, right, Nathan? <laughs> it, was, it was okay, it was all right. <laughs> Hey, <laughs> nice. So I'm sure many people listening have been in the position of managing employee growth like that at a company. And, you know, it can really ramp up quickly, right? So uh, we know how important onboarding is. And that can bring a lot of different challenges and, frankly, frustrations on both sides. So how can a technology solution help support that growth while keeping some of those problems at bay? Yeah, you're absolutely correct. Onboarding is a very, very important event because you – 
you kind of want to make it as obviously you want to make it a positive experience that's kind of organized and professional and um, so the new employee can acclimate quickly to the company and to their role you really want them to be able to hit the ground running um, so they can get through these onboarding things that quickly that would help um, you know that's what I call it's kind of what I describe as like the front end experience the employee side of it but um, we don't stop to take a look back at the back end side of how the onboarding process works. Like how do all those synchronized tasks and activities somehow come together um, to make it a memorable and positive experience for the employee. So I've heard many stories from employees who've been through our onboarding process over the 10 years at ImageSoft where one seasoned professional said to me, he says, this is the best onboarding experience in my career. And I was kind nice. of blown away. <laughs> yeah, it was super nice. I was, um, he, and he went through and just talked about it. And it was really great to hear that feedback. And then, of course, there's the other side of it where, you know, employees come in, they're like, I was blown away that I came to ImageSoft. I had a desk, a nameplate, a computer, um, an orientation document, and everything I needed on day one, my business cards, you know, whereas the previous company I was at, I sat at a card table for, oh you know, weeks and didn't have an, I had to make my own nameplate and I had to wait a week to get my computer. And those stories are real and they're true because I heard them over the last 10 years. Mm. But that doesn't happen here at ImageSoft because we have our technology on base um, to help us synchronize everything to effectively address the challenge. So in using OnBase and creating our HR events application, we were able to coordinate this process and the tasks for about five to 10 people across multiple departments. And um, we're able, just keeps everyone accountable so that everything gets done so we can consistently deliver that first rate onboarding experience every time. And we also use HR events to handle our promotions and transfers and offboarding. I mean, we don't like to talk about offboarding, but it's mm-hmm. the reality. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, it's the same application that we use that just apply to any other event that we have. And it's what HR is asked to perform and coordinate. Um, and it's been a game changer and has allowed us to efficiently, really, and effectively handle our company's growth over the years. So we've gotten a lot better at it. Yeah, a good, a good onboarding has that hidden effect of letting that person do their normal day-to-day activities right away. Uh, what they were hired for, yeah, exa- right? Exactly what they're hired for. You know, you mm-hmm. get a lot of scenarios where somebody's hired on, they might twiddle their thumbs for a week because they're not really sure what they're supposed to do with onboarding, what mm-hmm. forms do I fill out, you know, what training am I supposed to be taking, that kind of stuff. But when this stuff's handled right away and they got their computer, they have, okay, I've got these orientations set up, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, then they really can start doing their job a lot more quickly than they could at a different place. Yeah, it's it's leveraging. I imagine it's leveraging that that talent that you hired for in the first place, as well as making sure that the productivity remains, uh, and giving them that good experience. That way, they they know that they've made the right decision. You know, by choosing the, that company and by choosing you guys to work with. So, yeah, right. that's great. So obviously, HR management doesn't end after ninety days. It doesn't end after that offboarding process, right? That's the goal, right? Extend <laughs> beyond ninety days. Exactly. So there's a lot of ongoing support that this department provides over the employee's time with the company, and that includes managing performance reviews. So how did OnBase help ImageSoft in this area? Yeah, performance reviews is a very important process in ImageSoft because we do a couple different type of review processes mm-hmm. over the course of the year. So we have a quarterly conversation. And we also have a formal annual review process for a total of four. Mm. So you can see this is an important process because we do it four times a year. So I think it's kind of important for me to give like a background of get a complete understanding of where we were at to where we are today and how we leveraged OnBase just to show you the transformation. So I kind of will say over the many years we've struggled and attempted several iterations to create you know, a sustainable performance review process, but we could not get over several hurdles to get to 100% paperless. Mm -hmm. Um, A couple of these hurdles were the fact that we had unique ImageSoft review form and rating system, and we wanted the process 100% from start to finish and on base to include certifiable signatures that would pass the legal test. So that's Mm -hmm. important from an HR perspective. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, because we were growing at a fast pace and could not continue with our manual processes and working additional hours and weekends to scan, upload, index all signed paper reviews into on base every quarter, kind of something had to done, like we're at the breaking point, right, where we had to really up our game. So we created the on base review application, and I'm happy to say for several years now we've been 100% in on base and really haven't looked back. We've created it's an amazing process that addresses the hurdles and the time it took for HR to um, 
efficiently and effectively complete this process four times a year. I got some of my weekend time back. Nice. Not, yeah. That's important. And we've just created some additional functionality um, after getting feedback from our managers um, that allows them to have visibility and access into the, all the previous reviews of their team members. So when they're c- completing a current review, they can go back and look. And so they can uh, kind of think about the things that happened over time. And that's important. Employees need that you know, appropriate feedback. So it really helps them focus on those reviews. And then for the employee, um, we provided an electronic signature process that allows them to write their own comments um, on the form and also kind of just to have a copy of it, electronic copy of it sent to them automatically with the click of a button. So it's really been um, amazing. It's been simple, um, easy to use. Our managers love it. Um, So yeah, it's been good. It's been really good. Fair time saver. It's a big win when you can create something that makes multiple people in multiple departments happy at the same time. Yeah, that's true. And another thing like about the HR side of it is that there's a dashboard that we have in performance review application that I can click on the dashboard and I can easily see where we're at in the entire review process, What's who's done it, who hasn't done it. I can look at ratings and then I can export that data and give our executives kind of some data insights and some analytics to mm-hmm. see where maybe they need to kind of focus their attentions on some employees who are having some performance concerns. So um, it has been really good for them as well. So I'm able to provide that just at a click of a button. So it's really good. Yeah, that sounds very easy to do. So probably one of the most fun parts of an HR manager's job is telling someone, guess what, you're getting a raise or you're getting a bonus. But when you have hundreds or even thousands of employees for even larger organizations, you know, each of those have different salary reviews and uh, considerations, all those things that you just mentioned. I can imagine the fun of sharing that news can be pretty quickly overshadowed by the tediousness of the process. So how does ImageSoft manage this part? Yeah, um, I can confirm our annual salary review process and quarterly bonus process is fun for me because I'm helping our managers deliver good news. So mm-hmm. who doesn't like money? So, <laughs> um, But on the back end and the administrative side of those processes, it was really not that fun for HR, yeah. sorry to say. Um, I feel the need to kind of share the ugly details of how this process was handled before OnBase just to give a picture of the transformation because it's been pretty amazing. Um, at ImageSoft, we have like a quarterly bonus program and an annual salary review, as I mentioned, but the full disclosure is for years, this endeavor included a manual process that typically kind of looked like this, where I was getting the approvals Friday afternoon, all the approvals for the salary increases or the bonus letters, and then I had a spreadsheet, and then I would get approval, and then I'd go home on the weekend, and I would combine the spreadsheet into a Word document, copy the letters put them in a secure folder for the managers to distribute to their employees. And if you have 10 to 15 people, that's a pretty manual process for them. So it took them a lot of time away from them. And, you know, and then at the back end side of it, I was taking those letters and indexing them all into OnBase, every single one um, individually, um, every quarter. So it was very time consuming. Uh, I know it was an important process and because obviously we love to, you know, give money out, but but fast forward to today, the process is 100% in OnBase. Um, it just is so easy. It's been amazing. We just drop a CSV file into a location, and OnBase picks it up and creates the letters. And I can quickly review them and to see if there's any errors. And there's workflows if there's an error. And I can flip it right back into the process just at the click of a button. And then there's a secure distribution for the managers. And they can do it all electronically and paperlessly, where they type in, they click distribute, they type in a personal note to the employee, which is really nice to give that personal feedback like, hey, great 2019, you, you rocked it out of the park this quarter. You can add those personal notes and you click a button and it sends an email with their bonus letter attached and then the employee gets that feedback and they get the letter. So it's been really simple. It's been amazing to see that transformation, a process that's just before it took hours and weekends to really just... Um, minutes so it's been it's been good it's a lot of set it and forget it if you remember those old yeah. infomercials <laughs> now instead of uh you doing all that work so it's that's been pretty nice yeah what really struck me when you were talking about that leanne is that you know we're talking about making things as as simple as possible for the employees and everything but 
look at how difficult it was for you. I mean, yeah. you're an employee as well, you know, and, and it, it's just interesting to me that that, that kind of a process, uh, you know, while you're trying to make things easier for others, created such such a difficulty and such a long, tedious process for you. So be able, so to be able to, uh, you know, increase your productivity and to, you know, make sure you're leveraging your talents uh, in the proper way instead of having to do all of that paper shuffling, all of that manual entry, I would imagine that's that's a benefit for you personally, but it's also a benefit for the company because they're able to, uh, you know, leverage your talents much more easily instead of having you stuck in these tedious tasks that, you know. Yeah, and it's for confidentiality. I was kind of like the only one to do it. You mm-hmm. can't just, you know, shop that out to somebody else to do all that process. And I look at it as just a win-win for everybody. And that's what I love about OnBase is that it was flexible to handle our processes, our unique forms how we do business, um, and that's what I love about it and the functionality. So a win-win for everybody, it really was. Nice. Yeah, Leanne mentioned a while back that we're over 130 employees now. There's still one HR manager. We have one it's recruiter. Incredible. But in 10 years, we've increased the HR department by one only to handle recruiting. And a lot of that's because, even almost all of it, is because of the processes we put in with OnBase. It just makes her job a heck of a lot easier that mm-hmm. we don't have to bring in other people to do those tedious things. Yeah, I love saying, telling Nathan, give me a button so this can just do this. And <laughs> I just, have so many enhancement it. requests from you, so many. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a number one. I, I, there's a competition kind of internally about who can put in the most enhancement requests. And Yeah, I have a, I have a chart of people who she, submit the most tickets. He has a dashboard, tickets. and I'm yeah. his dashboard. And after a certain number, their name highlights in red, and Leanne is in red every single right. quarter. Because well, you're just, it's addicting. It's really <laughs> addicting, because you're kind of like, oh, I bet you Nathan can create a button for me on this one and I can just do it and it would just do everything and I don't have to do all these manual processes. So, And I bet I bet she's a text, you know, as she just said, she hands out the bonus letters. Yes, so, you know. yes. <laughs> just kidding. Our, our internal priority, my internal priority, Leanne, is near, right. near the top. What? <laughs> oh my gosh, the secret's revealed. That's it. <laughs> nice. So another area of HR management at ImageSoft, you know, going off of the the strictly employee internal side, uh, is industry compliance. So in our case, it's the Criminal Justice Information Security, or CJIS compliance, that is administered by the FBI. So it's not a one-time project, but something that has to happen every two years, in addition to the initial certification for new employees. So how did ImageSoft make this process paperless and maybe a little more painless? Yeah, I'm sure we're not alone in having to be compliant with some form of government requirement, and ImageSoft had to have the CGIS compliance. And I know we're paperless, but initially we did everything on paper, yeah. and cause we had to click, quickly get up and running, and then we um, tracked it on an Excel spreadsheet. Um, so the goal was first to make it a paperless process, you know, so it's efficient and effective, and the ability to be synchronized um, to provide you know, like secure visibility for those people who needed to see the information. And OnBase was able to provide that functionality. And it's, so in the end right now, like the paper and the spreadsheets are completely gone. And I think that this application can be customized for any type of compliance. And everything is in one spot in OnBase. And we are now in compliance. And so I just say bring on the audits because honestly, no, just kidding. Don't bring on the audits. (laughs) But we're ready. We really are ready. We have everything at the touch of a fingertip. So, and Nathan probably can explain a little more because um, he created the process. But um, I'm very happy that he did. Right. <laughs> yeah, it was. We didn't always have to do this compliance. It's kind of a a recent thing within the last couple of years, based on some of the projects and initiatives we've been taking at uh, at ImageSoft. So. It kind of all came to a head where some of the people who were managing this were like, "Oh no, we've got to." actually track this and then report on it and we may get audited so it quickly became a this mess of paper like mm. Leanne was saying so they came to me like this is so unmanageable and on base is so so simple and it makes things so efficient that we went from nothing to a full solution in probably two business days oh my gosh is, yeah, is when no I had it's really quick yeah and it's very true. crazy automated it's one of the more automated processes that I've I've created where all you have to do is add something into OnBase and it's going to set up reminders and check boxes to say, hey, this training's been done. And it'll set up alerts to say, in two years, you need to renew this certificate, that kind of stuff. So, um, It's very powerful. Yeah. I don't have to think about it all the time. I don't have to have like a post-it note. Hey, Mm -hmm. 
you know, so-and-so needs CGIS compliance recertification. You know, I don't have to do any of that. I get an email reminder. And so it just keeps me on track, and I just don't have to think about it That's every day and worry about it. Because I worry about my peoples. Well, of course. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And again, it, it makes you more efficient in other ways when you can turn something into a routine or yes. turn it over to, hey, let the machine handle it for me, the computer handle it for me. I don't have to worry about it. I can go do other stuff. And we don't have to hire somebody just to manage compliance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the reminder function sounds like that's really powerful, too, because you do need to have that certification, you know, renewed. So being able to set a reminder ahead of time, you know, right when you're you're doing the current certification, so that way if there's anything that needs to be prepared ahead of time, it's not a mad rush. It's not this this scramble at the end, oh, no, before they're, you know, out of compliance again. So, right. yeah, that's pretty powerful. And there powerful. was three people doing it, the process, in the beginning. And mm-hmm. now I just handle it, and it doesn't take me – um, as much time at all. That's amazing. So, well, are there any other cool ways that ImageSoft is taking the HR department and its processes paperless? Um, yes, definitely. We have a roadmap. It's getting longer and longer. So, <laughs> some job security for Jay- Nathan. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, we're looking to leverage kind of ShareBase, um, which is another form of uh, product, um, an on-base product, and to handle it's like, our- a, it's like a Dropbox. Yeah, it's like mm-hmm. a Dropbox, okay. and to handle our onboarding forms, we are paperless in the onboarding forms majority of the time, um, but this process is going to make it a lot easier. Um, we're looking to do kind of like a co- organizational training, tracking, and documentation where every department has different training requirements, so you have all the uniqueness of every department, but it's in one solution. Mm. So we're looking to do that. Um, and then a big one is that we have applicant tracking in OnBase, so we're looking to upgrade that to 2.0 and to give more functionality and to um, – kind of have that, um, I don't know, just take it to the next level. Mm -hmm. And so we have a lot of different ideas, so we're going to do that all in one. And then um, some more functionality in the performance review process where we're going to do kind of like a self-employee feedback as part of our performance review, so allow the employee to give feedback on how they think they're doing, Mm -hmm. so which is really nice. And then the big one that is on the, for me personally, is something called HR Incident, and it's an application that on base application that's going to allow me to help track FMLA, short term disabilities, um, performance reviews, uh, monitoring um, for those that are struggling, and then also to help me with um, like HR ev- incidents, like you know harassment or violence, or sure. somebody notices somebody's violating a rule or something like that, that they can report it, and it creates an incident, and it's all in on base, it's all documented. And it helps me track it. So um, super excited about that one. That one's kind of almost live right now, but mm-hmm. um, we're doing some testing. But that's something that we're really looking. That's going to be a, probably a couple more quarters of work. Okay. So, nice. yeah. All right. Yeah. The if one thing you'll notice is all of these different. Uh, I don't know if disparate is the right word, but but HR processes that don't necessarily link together. Mm-hmm are all being handled by one solution. So I'm speaking more from the admin's yeah. perspective here, but it's not like, okay, we have to go get an applicant tracking software and we have to go get an HR incident mm-hmm. software and a compliance software. It's all the same software. It's just doing all of it and we can customize it. And then if we decide in a year, like with app tracking, that we really don't like how it's working, we can totally change it around and make it work more efficiently. So Without having to get a whole new solution right. or scrap it and re- re-deploy and all right. that. So, yeah. Yeah. It's very nice. And job security, like yeah, right. said. So that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well, HR is supposed to say that. I'm just kidding. No, right. <laughs> we joke all the time. So, yeah. The working relationship. And he's really helped um, us, this whole department internal, his staff, the staff there and everything. So it's been really great. So I feel... I feel a lot of weight lifted off of me having all these processes in place. So That's important. Yes, definitely. Right. Well, this was really interesting hearing about how this all came together and how an enterprise content management solution can manage some of those internal company processes. It's not just the technical side. It's some of those softer skills, uh, you know, of a company and how it operates, um, you know, along with those client-facing ones. So I think it's pretty obvious that, you know, ImageSoft is a believer in the effectiveness of Highland Solutions, so much so that we're not just a reseller, we're also a client. That's right. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you both so much for being here today and for sharing all this with us. Thank you. That was a pleasure. Yep. All right. Well, thank you everyone for joining us today. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to Paperless Productivity, where we tackle some of the biggest paper-based pain points facing organizations today. We'll see you next time. 
Thanks again for joining us today for this episode of Paperless Productivity. This podcast is sponsored by ImageSoft, the paperless process people, which you can learn more about at imagesoftinc.com. That's imagesoftinc.com. Join us next time where you'll learn how to harness the power of technology, supercharge efficiency, and accomplish your organization's goals.